Now let's switch to see what the admin experience is. So we'll start off with looking at how admins will select the skill sets and make them available to their learners. I'm now on the admin homepage, which the admins use to manage the different learning programs with Coursera. Admins should now be able to see a message on their homepage letting them know about the new skill set functionality, and they'll also be able to see this new dedicated skill sets tab. If that's not the case, please let your CSM know and we can turn it on for you. So let's dig right into it by clicking on the skill sets tab. The skill sets tab will provide all the required information for the admins to understand what skill sets are, um, how the skill sets work, how to select skill sets, how to add them to a learning program, and how to track and measure progress towards those skill sets. So we can start with skill sets by clicking on add skill sets. On this page, the admin is able to see all available skill sets across the multiple domains mentioned earlier. At this point, the admin has a few different options to find the relevant skill sets for their learners. They can start off by just searching for a skill set name. As all the skill sets are role-based, an admin can easily search uh, by a role and see all the relevant skill sets for that role. The admins can also search by the different skill set types, such as literacy, upskill, or reskill, if they are looking uh, for if they're looking to satisfy different needs for a learner in their learning journey. And finally, admins can easily deploy our out-of-the-box academy solution. Our academies are a complete skills development solution that packages together skill sets for your entire organization. And the way to do that is to launch Skill Set Finder. So here, the admins will be able to see all available academies. Today, we have data science, software engineering, and cloud available with marketing and finance on the way. So here, let's select data science. Once, once the admin selects an academy and hit continue, they'll be able to see all the available departments and roles that are covered within that academy. So an admin can choose to select a few of the departments and roles that that meet their learning needs, or they can choose to select all departments if they're looking for a learning program that spans across the organization. So here, I'll select all departments and then click on find skill sets to see all available skill sets within the data science domain. At this point, the admins can just easily select all the skill sets and add them to a learning program. They can click on a skill set and learn a little bit more about the skill set, understand what skills uh, and what proficiency targets are covered within that skill set, or just choose a few skill sets to make them available to the learners. So here, let's select a few skill sets. So I'll select AI Aware Professional, Algorithm Specialized Data Engineer, and then click on Review Selection. On this page, admins have the option to actually customize these skill sets by clicking on edit. Here, the admins can update the skill set name and the skill set description to, to align it better with their learning needs and save the changes. Very soon, the admins will be able to update the target levels and add or remove skills. If that's something that's required today, please let us know and we can do it for you. At this point, the skill sets are almost ready to go and the admins can click on confirm and add to either add it to a learning program to make it available to their learners or save it for later. I'm going to save it for later here. 